If we were to do this and this separately, counter plus plus would increment the initial value 5 to 6 and then counter minus minus would decrement the value 6 to 5 again. But we are getting a very wrong value of 4. This is known as race condition. Okay, so imagine there are two processes. For example, there is this one process and there is another process. This is called let's say process 1 and this one is let's say called process 2 and there is a shared data which both of them are trying to access. So if both of them are trying to modify this shared data, so this is let's say let me call it a shared data. So for example both of them are trying to modify or access this shared data, we have to make one of them wait for the other if the other is busy doing the modification of this shared data. This is called the problem of process synchronization and in uh, you know operating systems we encounter this problem a lot in which we have to offer or to implement a mechanism which allows for multiple processes to access or modify a shared data without any conflict or any problem. So in order to uh, establish the need for this even further Let's look at an example. For example, we have two processes. One process is called producer process. The other is called consumer process. Here you can see that producer process is trying to increment the value of counter variable. And here you can see that the consumer process is trying to decrement the value of counter variable. Right? So what is happening is that both of them are trying to modify the value of this variable called counter. So the producer can see the variable counter and the consumer can also see this variable counter. It's a shared variable, right? Both of them are trying to modify the value of this variable. So for example, they try to do it exactly at the same time. There can be a problem if both of them try to access or modify the value of counter at the same time. The problem is that the compiler, the C compiler is going to translate the increment statement into these three statements. The first statement says that bring the value of counter from memory to a register in the CPU. The second statement says that increment the value and the third statement says that write back the value of counter variable from CPU to memory. And similar goes for counter minus minus. In counter minus minus, the, again, one line of C code is going to be equal to three lines of assembly code, and which is going to be that uh, bring the value of counter from memory and save it in register two, and then decrement the value of register two in uh, CPU, and then write back the value of register two into memory. Now, blue is the producer process green is the consumer process. So here you can see that there's an instance when the producer process and the consumer process, the instructions of both are mixed up. You must remember that what is this switching between this blue and green? This switching is called context switching, right? And similarly, this green to blue is called context switching. Again, this blue to green is called context switching. So we remember that context switchings or context switches are going to take place very often. The, I demonstrated in class in lab as well that uh, we ran two different processes and we saw that they were printing different things uh, in a single loop in, inside their own code, but uh, they were experiencing context switching. So this is one instance of that mix up. We, let me call it a mix up because what we expected to be a single statement is now mixed up with another set of instructions which which we expected to be a single statement and these are no longer single statements because now there are three statements and operating system is not obliged at all to not mix them together so it actually happens that they get mixed up together so now let's try to understand what happens if this is the case. At first second or second zero, the producer process runs this line. Now the initial value of count counter variable or count variable in memory is five. So register one gets the value five from memory, right? 
5 goes to register 1. We increment the, of the value of register 1 in CPU and register 1 is now holding the value 6. Similarly, because of context switching, now the consumer process, this is the consumer process, the green one, the blue one is the producer process. The consumer process brings the old value of counter from memory into register 2. The old value was 5. Remember, the value in memory is still not updated because the producer process got interrupted by the consumer process. Now the consumer process decrements the value of register 2, it becomes 4, right? So we uh, to this point we are here that uh, register 1 has the value 6, register 2 has the value 4. By some chance, producer process again comes into CPU and write, writes back its particular value of counter to memory which was 6. There is only one copy of counter variable in memory. So if this is the memory and this is the variable counter, counter is only going to have one value. So if producer process writes in to this place 6, it is going to have 6. But the, what happens again, the consumer process comes back and the producer process writes into memory its particular value which was 4. So now when consumer process writes in the value 4, previously it was 6, 6 is going to be overwritten by 4. So now the final value if we check in memory of counter variable is what it is? 4. 4 is a wrong value because if we, if we were to do this and this separately, counter plus plus would increment the value of the initial value 5 to 6 and then counter minus minus would decrement the value 6 to 5 again right but in this case we are getting a very wrong value of 4 this is known as race condition so what could we do to uh, prevent this situation we could prevent this situation by as soon as the as soon as the blue process started, we could have made the green process wait for it to finish, right? This blue line should be here, not here. Or in other words, if the green process started first, then we should have made the blue process wait for it to finish. 